What up, everyone? So, we've got Arcade Block here. And this is typically the last box of the month. Although, the boxes of August have come really late this month, so I think I may be missing a few. I'm not totally sure on that. But either way, um, we did Arcade Block earlier, and it totally sucked. It was a piece of shit box. So, we'll have to take a look at this one and see if this one's any better. The Nerd Block Company has just not been doing great lately. I, I don't know how else to say it. Um, they just haven't been doing good. Their boxes have not been good. Alrighty. So it looks like we got a shirt here. One, two. Let's take a look at this. There we are. So it looks like we got a nice Guardians of the Galaxy shirt. That's really cool. I don't think I, we've ever gotten a Guardians shirt in a box before. This is the first time. We had a Marvel Guardians box. We didn't get a shirt. I think we got hat or no, we got a scarf. That's what it was. So this is good. Uh, good quality. Good design. Uh, I like the the picture design on here. It's got everyone's names in different colors. It's the comic style, not the movie style, which is cool too. I really like that. It's a really nice shirt. Not bad at all. I'll give that like an eight out of ten. Good design and quality all around. Cool. So there's that. All right. Next. Looks like we got a hat. This is from Suicide Squad, obviously, there's that. Looks like we got a picture on the bill there, underneath. Anything on the back. Yep, got a little writing on the back there. It says, in Squad, we trust. And obviously it's the snapback, because they can't do fitted hats. Um, you know, I don't mind hats, actually. I, I, I always think they're okay, I don't mind. I wear hats. The snapback ones usually don't fit me very well, they're too small, even when I unbutton it. So that's always unfortunate for me, but normally I do like hats. As far as the quality on this one, not super great. Um, this looks more like a printed hat, and what I mean by that is there's no design to it. Usually when there's a hat, they, and I have one like right here, like they will put a logo on it and they'll do some design work to it. Um, this one, not so much. It looks like they just took the logo and printed it on there, and then it looks like they just took a picture, one of the promo pictures from the movie, and just printed it on there. There's no design to it, that, and I think that's very unfortunate. And that doesn't make it a bad hat, it's still cool, but it's just weird when you're just wearing the exact movie poster stuff. There's nothing really special about it. So, I wish there was a little more design quality to this hat, but it's still a cool hat, though. I think people would still like it. Uh, so, yeah, there that is. Suicide Squad hat. Alrighty. Then, looks like the rest of the items are comics, which is expected from Comic Block. Hopefully we got some good ones. So it looks like we got Suicide Squad number one, and this is a Comic Block exclusive. And these are always usually worth a decent amount. The Comic Block exclusive covers are pretty good. They're pretty good about picking good series to do, and they usually hold a semi-decent value. And Suicide Squad's very popular right now, so there's that. And the other two looks like Harley Quinn, number one, and number two. This is from the whole DC Rebirth. So these do not look like exclusives. Nope, doesn't look like it, but again, popular character. And I guess that's all the items. That I don't see anything else in here unless I'm missing something. Advertisements, coupons, nope. Uh, okay, I guess that's everything. So that's all the items in the box. So we'll take a short little break. I'll do some research. We'll come back, talk about some value, and give this box a rating. See you soon. All right, we are back. Let's talk about some value. The shirt. Like I was saying, really cool design. I like that. Uh, 8 out of 10. A standard 12 to $15 shirt value. Next, our hat. This gets pretty standard value, too. 12 to 15 on, like, the caps like this is pretty standard. Um, there are some people that... What we're asking for more than it. Um, I, I think this was exclusive. I can't remember now. Let me double check the card. Do, 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 do. I don't know where I put it. Oh, so yeah, this was an exclusive hat. So that that usually would bring up the value a little bit. But like I said, very simplistic design. Um, it just kind of looks like a copy paste from one of the movie posters. If there was a little more design quality to it, I could see it going for a little bit more. But around, right around twelve to fifteen dollars, it's pretty standard for those hats. Then, on to the comics, which was the rest of the items. So, uh, the one major one here was the exclusive cover, and that's Suicide Squad number one. It is actually sealed, and that's pretty cool. Um, this was going for a decent amount. This box did just come today, so I do imagine this value is going to come down pretty substantially. 
Um, right now it's going for about $25, and I'm pretty sure it'll most likely come down uh, at least a good amount, at least $5, if not more than that. How much is dependent on how many boxes they sent out, so that's kind of hard to say. But considering it came out today, the values are always going to be much higher than they would be a few days from now. So as of now, that's at 25 but again, it'll come down. Then, the Harley Quinn 1 and 2. Like I said, these were not exclusive. There's nothing special about them. These are just number one and number two of the series. Um, there's really no value to them. It's printed on there, $2.99 for the comic, and that's pretty much what you find them for online. You can find them for about $3 to $3.50, not including shipping. So if you got two of them, you'd save on shipping. So collectively, 6 to 8 bucks for the pair of those. So that brings our value on the low end of 55 and on the high end of 63 So pretty close to what the normal value is for this block. But like I was saying, it, it does seem like that comic value is going to come down uh, quite a bit. So it'll be a little bit less than that, but you know, still decent value. Just not a lot of items though. Technically five items, but three of them were comics, and then a hat and a shirt. So not a lot of creativity in here. The shirt was nicely designed, the hat not so much. Just very basic design, very cut and paste. And then common comics, so nothing super great. Pretty much all the value came from that one comic. And that's not too irregular from this box. We do see rare comics from here, but I don't want it to be all about that. I, I appreciate that they do put comics in there, but I also want it to be about this other stuff too. Because there are too many boxes out there that are strictly comic books, and I want them to mix it up and have some variety. So, that all being said, value was decent, the variety could have been much better, the design could have been much better. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. It wasn't bad, um, I don't think anyone would be disappointed. If you didn't like the comic, you can easily resell it, get some decent money back. At least the hat was exclusive, so although it's not the best design, I'm sure you could find a million hats just like it for half the price. At least it was exclusive, so that gives something to it. So 6 out of 10 I think is fair. But again, let me know what you guys think about that, and we'll talk about it in the comments. So this has been Arcade Block, 6 out of 10 on the box, 8 out of 10 on the shirt. Uh, thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. Love you all. Peace.